What if I told you, you can make your GoPro go from this to this? I know, it's a crazy difference. Now, there's two softwares that you can use. There's Hypersmooth and there's Gyroflow. So the first thing that you want to do is actually make sure that your GoPro is set correctly. You're going to jump into your settings and make sure that it's on four by three or higher. Now second, you have to make sure that Hypersmooth is turned off. You just want to have either Hypersmooth or Gyroflow or Real Steady on, not both. So to get Real Steady, it's actually inside of the GoPro Player app. They recently changed this to Hypersmooth Pro, but most people call it Real Steady or Hypersmooth Pro. Its terms are just thrown around. So as you can see, it takes your four x three footage and it crops it down to 16 by nine, but it's stabilized. Now, sometimes you can get the effect where it zooms in and out. And what you want to do is just throw your smoothness down to about five or around there. The lower the smoothness, the less cropping in and out it'll have. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't have the jitteriness that you get with FPV. Now, gyro flow looks a bit more complex and it kind of is, but it's not that hard to learn. Now, gyro flow is similar to what we just did with Real Steady. You'll take your clip and drop it in. And as you can see, it automatically finds what your clip is and what to do with it. So what you do with gyro flow is a little bit different. Over here on the top left, you have to make sure that everything's correct. For me, I'm using the Hero 10, so that's correct. And everything matches up. Down here, and this will also depend on what other cameras or anything else you're using, uh, you have to make sure your lens profile is correct. Now here's an awesome feature with Gyroflow that Real Steady doesn't have. You can use a professional camera or anything else with it. So for me, I'll actually take my Sony camera and I'll throw a GoPro on top of it. It will take the gyro data inside of your GoPro and use it and apply it onto your Sony camera or your professional camera. Down here, you'll make sure that your motion data is the same. And like I said, if you're going to use a camera and stabilize that, you'll put your GoPro data in there and your main footage in the top left up here. Now, once you're down in here, we're going to jump over to the top right and make sure that we turn on auto sync. This will find all the points and make sure that it lines up correctly. So you can see here that there's points on here that make the camera so it's lined up. Just make sure and you should be good. Now, as you can see, it lines up and it looks just like real steady what we went through. It's amazing footage and you can adjust everything else. It has the exact same settings. So if you don't wanna pay the hundred bucks, I would do gyro flow. You know, for me, I use both because gyro flow wasn't that great back then, but now it might even be real steady. Now for this, the export settings are going to be the same for both of our projects. We're going to jump down and there's a couple ways you wanna look at this. I format my footage in three different types. There's H.264, H.265 or HVEC and ProRes. You wanna export in H.264 if you're on a Windows or if you're sending it to a client or you're not sure what you're going to use this footage with after. H.264 is more universal and more and more computers and devices handle that. H.265 is smaller file sizes, it reads better, it edits better, and overall, I prefer it. But it just depends on your system. So for this, I'll just do H.265, we'll make sure our export is the same, and our bitrate. It shows an 89 bitrate, which seems good to me. I like to stick anywhere above 70 when I'm doing GoPro footage. Now, you'll just go down here and hit export. Now, like I said, we'll do the exact same thing for real steady, but it's a little bit simpler. We'll go through and just make sure our ProRes or our HVEC is on. I like setting my bitrate to the max. It just looks the best. Hypersmooth Pro or real steady is turned on. You can turn on horizon leveling if you like. It gives it a leveled look. And this is great if you're doing cinematic or a CineWhoop flight. Now, real estate or anything like that, that's what you want to use. We'll then go through and export it, and you're done. The cool thing is that everything is set up with your GoPro. You can have great settings, and now you can get a nice stabilized footage that looks like it's from a professional camera and not a GoPro. For me, I use both of these softwares, and I still use Real Steady because it's just simpler to use and it's faster. But if you don't have Real Steady, then I think Gyroflow is an amazing option. Plus the main reason why I still keep it is that I can use it on my camera. So that's a hidden feature, but also an amazing feature to use for your camera. So now you know how to stabilize your GoPro footage 
and how to go through and make it look like a professional camera. Well, I hope this helped, and I'm Zane Shaw, and keep flying.